April 2nd, 2019, Jay Schwartz for another edition of Voice of Reason here at the legendary McGonagall Hall here at Temple University. That man sticking out his uh, tongue, by the way. That's a man I've known probably 18 years, the great legendary Sonny Hill. Sonny, how are you? Wonderful. Nice to be with you. It's great to see you as always, and congratulations today here at McGonagall Hall. A new era of Temple basketball here in McKee taking over after a 13-year, I guess you could say, reign for uh, Temple coach Fran Dunphy after 20 two years for the long time at Hall of Fame coach John Cheney. We are now ready for the new era of Temple basketball, Aaron McKee. You've known him since he was a little boy. You've known him pretty much since it all started. Tell us what this means to you to have Aaron uh, now as the head coach here at Temple. Well, first and foremost, anytime you have an opportunity to touch somebody along the way and have an impact on their life and then see them evolve into where they are at the present time, in particular with the fact that Aaron is now going to be the men's head basketball coach at Temple University, it makes you feel good because you look at it from the point of view that there's some value that you've had as an input into the life of the individual. Yes. And hopefully that will be something that he will now be able to carry into the young folk. And as I say to all of the people that I've had the privilege and pleasure of touching along the way, it's now your responsibility to reach back and make a difference in their lives. And I always tell that story of, um, you know, we could have like a 60 minute interview with you and then we'd have to have you back because some of the players that, you know, people that you've worked with and anybody that's been in the business and seen as much and watched as much as you have, there's just no way. It could take days, nights, hours, and even years because of all the athletes that you've touched. And Aaron's just somebody that's been a long way. I remember when I was 15, you spoke at your camp and people were asking questions about Kobe Bryant and Allen Iverson, and you had always said how, oh, I've known these guys since I was, since they were babies, since they were born. I mean, what has been the highlight of doing what you're doing in your in your life, in your career? Reaching back, having the opportunity to touch people for the right reasons. It's never about me. No. It's about the people that you touch. And if those individuals like you and others understand the reason that we were able to come in contact, and see, in this society we live in today, we have more responsibility than ever because it's a more difficult time for young people, it's a more difficult time for us as a society. So the more we're able to understand reaching back, touching people, trying to mold them into better human beings, the better the society and the world that we live in will be for everybody. So the Temple had a great we're going to let this person go. Um, Sonny Temple had a great basketball season in Fred Dunphy's final year, over 20 wins. Uh, they fell a little bit short in the NCAA tournament. Uh, Aaron is certainly building for the future of Temple basketball. Are we expecting big things as we move forward? I think when Aaron said Temple is the fifth winningest basketball program in the history of the NCAA, it tells you what expectations are. Yes. Expectations are to be able to continue the great legacy that this university stands for, not in basketball, but more important, where they stand in terms of this community in North Central Philadelphia, what it has been able to do over the many, many, many years that it's been here, and the fact that it will have an impact beyond the basketball. Basketball is a vehicle to be used, yes. but the reality is how well you use it and what do you do with it when you get the opportunity to use it in the right way. Yes. Tell everybody what you're doing these days. Oh, I have to tell you forever and ever and ever. Oh, you you could, fill all that in. You would probably do that. Jake all that here in. at the Aaron McKee Press Conference with the legendary Sonny Hill. Sonny, congratulations on a great day. Always good to see you.